Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing another stamping easy tutorial. And um, the colors that I have as base colors here, the, the white nail is just Milani High Speed Fast Dry, white on the spot. And on the other nails, I have a single coat of this Sally Hansen Insta Dry. The color is called Presto Pewter. So I have that on the thumbs as well. It's just one accent nail. What I'm going to be using next is this polish from Wet n Wild Mega Last. This one is called I Need a Refreshment. And I'm just going to be sponging that onto my nails just using a piece of cosmetic sponge. And part of why I wanted to show you that too is this nail, I have a chip right at the end. So sometimes metallic polishes, you know, highlight that. If I dab a little polish there at the tip, you can't even tell. So it works out really well. Then in order to get the polish out of the cuticles, like especially where if you flood your cuticle there, I'm going to be using this pen, nail polish corrector pen from Beauty Secrets. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. It starts out with a white tip and I of course have this a really long time. They have polish remover already in them but mine has tended to dry out so all I do is I just dip it into my bottle of nail polish remover and then that way it it's in a kind of a wedge so I can kind of really get in between in those creases. So I particularly like it for removing stuff that's really close to the nail. I just thought I would show you that. I've had this thing for a long time and I just never really show it on camera so I figured I would share that little tidbit with you. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to stand on that accent nail for right now using this plate from Cheeky. This is Cheeky plate 38 and I'm going to stamp these dolphins. I'm going to be using that pewter color for the stamping. Okay, and I'm going to place that over the whole nail. See? So I got these neat dolphins, and that kind of blue splotchy pattern gives it sort of a water effect, which is exactly what I was going for. Let's just do the stamping on the other nails too. So I'm going to go back to my white polish that I used on my ring finger, and the next plate I'm going to use is this one. This one is actually a cheeky plate as well. It's B10. It was from a really small set that I don't even think they sell anymore, but you guys can kind of look around. I think Conad might have a plate that has these bubbles on it as well. To me, they look like bubbles, so that's what I call them. I'm going to stamp those in white. And I'm going to stamp those going up like one side of each of the pewter nails, okay? Okay, so now that all of the stamping is done, I'm going to take a minute and clean up around my cuticles. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do is we are going to take a matte top coat. This one is from Hard Candy. It's called Mattly in Love. And I'm going to put a matte top coat over just the pewter nails. Now I'm going to have to brush extremely gently over that stamping so I don't smear it because matte top coat is not really that great with stamping typically. So if you feel like you can't brush gently enough to keep it from smearing, then put a layer of regular shiny top coat over it first and then put the matte on top of it. That'll work just fine. Then over my dolphin nail, I am going to just put a clear top coat. Okay, now as you can see our matte top coat has done its mattifying <laughs> and we got that shiny nail. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, 
highlight those bubbles and make them look wet. So all I'm going to do is use my clear top coat and the one I'm using for this particular manicure is um, Nail Nation 3000. This one is 45 second top coat. I'm going to use a dotting tool and I'm going to use the large end for the big bumps and I'm going to place some top coat just in the centers to make them look like kind of shiny wet bubbles. And then I'm going to flip that over and using the small part of the dotting tool, I'm going to fill in the smaller dots. Okay, so once those are completely dry, then they'll be touchable, but obviously right now it has to have a chance to dry. But because that matte top coat is a top coat, you don't have to do anything else to this. So that is all for this one. It's kind of fun because now you look like you have little water bubbles, and it does enhance that sort of dolphin image. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys like this one. It's kind of fun. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.